On May 7, 2004, Universal Studios released Van Helsing, a horror-themed action film that was sort of a love letter to all of their classic monster movies from the 1930s and 40s. Hugh Jackman portrays the title character, Gabriel Van Helsing, a famous monster hunter with a dark past who must travel to Transylvania to stop Dracula from feeding upon humanity with his horde of the undead, with the Wolfman and Frankenstein's monster thrown into the mix. Despite the well-known stars attached to the film, and the fact that it more than made back its $160 million budget, critically, Van Helsing was a dud. Myself, I enjoyed the film for what it was, a simple fun popcorn flick that's not meant to be taken too seriously. But just like another film that Hugh Jackman starred in that kinda tanked as well, X-Men Origins Wolverine, there was a game of Van Helsing released the day before the film that critics thought was better than the film it was based on, that was developed by Sapphire. You may remember them as the team behind the 007 Game Boy game I covered long ago, but they're also known for the surprisingly fun Nintendo 64 port of Rainbow Six. However, their foray into the sixth generation of consoles is very brief. In fact, Van Helsing is the only game they developed on the Big Green. Well, here in the US. They did develop the 3D fighter Barbarian, which we did get on PS2, and it did get an Xbox version, but only in Europe, and it, I'm getting way off track. Although we should check out that Barbarian game later. So it's been 15 years since Van Helsing came out. Is it still good? Uh, is it as good, if not better, than the X-Men Origins Wolverine game? Are you as shocked as I am that I said it's been 15 years since Van Helsing came out? Eh, either way, let's take a look and find out. Van Helsing the game's plot is pretty much an identical version of what you see in the film, following it pretty closely. You start off in Paris chasing after Mr. Hyde. From there, you head to Transylvania to stop Dracula and his minions, such as the Wolfman, Frankenstein's monster, Dracula's brides, Igor, and the Prince of Darkness himself, with other assorted baddies thrown in. There's really not much else to say. If you like the movie's plot, you'll enjoy stepping into the boots and hat of Van Helsing. Van Helsing is a third-person action shooter in the vein of Devil May Cry. Well, in the vein is a light way to put it, as it's a straight-up clone of Capcom's stylish action series. As Van Dante, you progress through the game's 12 missions, hacking and shooting numerous creatures of the night, with some light platforming and puzzle solving. By which I mean you backtrack to previous areas whenever you get a new piece of equipment to proceed to a new area. Hugh May Cry's equipment is very accurate to the film with his dual pistols, shotgun, auto crossbow, lightning gun, and gatling gun for firearms, and his spinning tojo blades and dual scimitars for melee. There is also a super powerful rifle you can obtain by completing the bonus challenge rooms you unlock by collecting e Easter eggs and placing them on special pedestals. Each weapon also has a powerful alt mode that gives them a special attack, like holy water dipped pistol shots or a continuous beam of lightning from the lightning gun. These modes have their own meter that depletes with use, but can be refilled by landing regular hits or using ammo replenishers. Oh, and if you didn't think the resemblance to DMC was too obvious, you can also collect orb, uh, I mean, uh, glyphs that allow you to purchase new moves and extend your health in special ammo as well as health and ammo replenishers and speed boosts before each mission, right after you get your ranking for the previous mission. Also, for some reason, beating the mission while keeping your hat on is a thing. Now, having weapons and powers is one thing, but what about the moves? Well, the son of Sparta Jackman does have a nice set of combos and attacks at his disposal that, while may not be as expansive as the game is inspired by, does a good enough job. Plus, you get a grapple gun here that allows you to climb up areas and use to grab enemies. Pretty nice. All of this is complemented with smooth controls, although movement can be annoying when the camera switches to a new angle, just like Devil May Cry. One more thing before I move on is another thing that seems to be copied from DMC, the really, really tough AI. 
At first, enemies are a decent challenge for Dante Helsing, but there are times when the game decides to overwhelm you with super-powered lackeys, like these flying skulls for example, or the next to final boss, who's a much cheaper fight than Dracula himself. However, when you beat the game, you can replay it with all your weapons and purchase moves and items at the beginning, like a new game plus, so that's cool. Visually, this game's pretty good. The environments that you explore are a nice representation of what you see in the film, like Paris, Transylvania, and Dracula's Castle, even giving off influences of another horror-themed action game series. Meanwhile, the character models do a nice job looking like the actors, especially Hugh Jackman as Van Helsing and Richard Roxburgh as Dracula. Also, it's probably because I've been saying how much this game copies Devil May Cry, but I feel that Van Helsing even has the same movements as Dante. Sadly, the enemies you face along the way are just very lackluster, while the bosses are more identical to their film counterparts. Speaking of likeness, both actors, as well as pretty much everyone from the film, reprises their roles for the game, with the only exceptions being the vampire Alira and Anna, who was played by Kate Beckinsale, who have different voice actresses for the game. But they do a great job here regardless. You've been bitten. Falcon? Yes. We must find the antidote for both of you. My brother once said that Dracula had a cure. Anna. Yeah, madame, there's something I must tell you. Oh, no. No, please. Oh. He left me no choice. With his last breath, he showed me the path to Castle Dracula, and then... Then he lost control again. No. He didn't lose control. He was trying to help you. That's why he bit you. Anna, Anna, he bit me because he was a werewolf. No. You don't know my brother. He was... Strong, strong enough to resist the evil. He bit you for a reason, he must have. As for the music, I can't remember if this is the same soundtrack that is used in the film, as it's been a while since I've seen it, but either way, the music in the game is very orchestral with the right amount of intensity when you're fighting enemies and bosses. There's no getting around it. This is Devil May Hugh, or Sparta Helsing, or whatever joke name you want to give it. Regardless of the jokes though, Van Helsing is actually a pretty fun and solid game. Breezing through the game using all the cool weapons from the movie and enjoying Hugh Jackman's quips was, and still is, pretty enjoyable, even if it's a bit shorter than the game that inspired it. But with the new game plus giving you a chance to 100% the game is a nice touch. Plus, being a movie tie-in, it's pretty cheap and should be easy to come by. It's definitely one of the best ways to play Devil May Cry on the big green. While Van Helsing is a good time, both as a film and a game, sadly this story does have a not-so-happy ending. Even though Van Helsing made way over its budget, it was considered a bomb in the States, shutting down any plans to make it a franchise. There were talks to reboot Van Helsing to be part of the Dark Universe, Universal's attempt at the MCU, but with the massive failure of 2017's Mummy reboot, this was put on hold. As for Sapphire, Van Helsing was their final console game developed, with their final two games being Around the World in 80 Days and Thunderbirds for the Game Boy Advance. It's a shame that Sapphire is no longer with us today, as they made some pretty cool games, even if one of their best was just a sheer imitation of Devil May Cry. But, you know what they say, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, with that out of the way, this is the Dolly Popka saying, as always, stay green my friends. I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want more of me and the Big Green, then click that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new content arrives. I want to say a special thank you to my patrons for helping not just the channel grow, but me as a creator. You have my forever thanks. 
If you're interested in the channel and would like to help it grow further, consider becoming a patron today. For the cost of a soda or an item on the dollar menu, you can help myself and the channel provide the best source of big green programming and more. Once again, all the thanks and love.